Hi, this is Don Crowther with another StomperNet video. Today we're going to talk about three reports that will revolutionize your website's profitability and possibly your life. As internet marketers, it's vital to have a set of key tools that we use and one of those tools that's most important is an excellent analytics package. I am analytics package agnostic, but today I'm going to show you three reports from Google Analytics that I believe can literally change your business. The first one is the defined funnel navigation report. As someone buys something from your site, they tend to go through a set of predefined steps in the process. So you go in in setting it up and you say here's the first page they go to and then here's the second URL they go to and then here's the third URL they go through stepping through the process of getting ready to purchase from you and so this report allows you to break out each one of those individual steps and see how it's working as you look at it this middle column here is that are the first three steps step one step two and step three on the left here are the pages that people went to that went into the funnel. On the right, we see when they leave a particular step from the funnel, where do they go to as they leave? So let's focus just on this first particular step and see what happened. Here we have 600 visitors. They came from these sites over here into the, into the first step in the funnel. Of those 600, 338 of them actually left from that first step without ever going to any other step in the process. And so 56% of my people on this particular site that we're looking at, and by the way, this site has pretty poor conversion, and so we're trying to fix it. And so 56% of the people who are coming to this particular site are leaving from this first page in the funnel. Of those who leave, 142 of them are actually actually exiting altogether. 71 of them are going back to the index page, etc. And so as you can see, this particular first page is a major hole in the entire thing that is leaking a huge amount of traffic out of our funnel and fixing that will create a wonderful result in terms of profitability at the back end. Then if you look and we go on to the next page, what we see is here's step four and that only loses 7% of people. In this particular case, that's acceptable. But then we lose 50% of the people who come to the pay, who come to step five and 78% of the people who come to step six. And so as you can see, we've got that first page plus this page plus this page that if we go and spend our time focusing on just those three pages and did nothing else to the site, we can have amazing increases in our sales and our profitability by fixing just those three pages. So that's where we're focusing now is to focus on those. Can you see, if you haven't used this report, can you see the value in this? Where we're very specifically being told, here's where you can target to make a difference in your site's performance. A second key report you will want to focus on is the AdWords Keywords Position Report. And by the way, I don't know of any other analytics package that provides this other than Google Analytics. Basically what this report does is it tells you what position your AdWords ad ran in that generated a sale. Think about that for a moment. It, when, it, when you know that, you can know whether you're overspending or underspending for your AdWords uh, results. And so I'm going to show you this report. I'm going to focus in on this bottom half and uh, so that we can have a little bit larger on the screen. So here's the bottom half. And what this thing shows is for this particular set of AdWords keywords, I am generating $2.44 in sales for each person who visits the site. Now, if you remember that a Google uh, search results page tends to have between zero and three ads on the top in a colored box, and then down the right hand side there will be eight more ads that run. And so what this shows me is that when my ad runs in the, t in the third position down from the top, so T3 position, on average I'm getting $2.33 per visitor. When it runs in the T2 position, I'm getting $1.98. But here's the interesting one. When I run in that very top position, I get the serial clickers clicking on it, and I get zero from the people who are clicking on that top ad. But this is also interesting. When I run in the ads that go down the right-hand side, I'm getting on average $8.07 from the people from people who come to my site through that ad. So 
this is very interesting. It's showing that my profitability happens in this particular site's case when I am running close to the top of the AdWords results. Notice this also. When I run in the fourth through sixth place, I'm getting nothing. And so nothing at all is happening from my ads that are running down there. Now, we also have to recognize that I've got really low numbers down here, and so I don't have significance from a statistical standpoint. And I probably ought to be going down and testing my ads, but remember, I just got in contact with this site, and so I haven't been running, the, I haven't been involved with this site for a long period of time. And so, uh, but it's clearly showing that uh, there's some opportunity to test because even when I'm running at the very top, I'm not getting as nearly as high of a return as when I run in spot number one or spot number three. So this is certainly something that I will be testing to improve the conversion rate on this site. So again, I hope you can see the value in this particular report. Now let's go on and look at a third report which is which uh, gives you one more piece of perspective and this is called the time to transaction report. Basically what this report shows is what how long from the time someone came to your site for the first time before you actually got your order from them. And so, in this particular site's case, they're, the vast majority of them do it on the same day. And you will see that almost uh, on almost every site that you look at. But as you can see, there are on these other days, there are still orders coming in. And so, here we look at it, and it says that people, some people, there's been one order placed in this particular case, in this particular time period that I've looked at it, where they came in and four days later they placed an order. But here's where I want to, sh to, to demonstrate, is that if I was to ignore the people, if I was to run my, to set my time period that I'm looking at in my analytics report and only look at a very short period of time, I'm missing these people out here who are placing orders two months later. And by the way, if I was to run this out for an even longer period, you would see that there are actually orders coming in at 180 days uh, from this particular site. You don't see them here because my time period that I'm measuring didn't include 121 days and out. But the reason why I show you this report is to just point out that you need to be cautious in some sites of making judgments based on too little data because you may actually have something that's really working but in this case the autoresponder sequence isn't actually delivering someone to the site to finish making the purchase until later on in the process. And so you can see, by the way, this is a great way also to help to get some more insights into your autoresponder se sequence and how well it's doing. So never abandon the long-term people uh, that, that are not or that are ordering later on and don't make decisions without including that data in your decision. So let's bring up one final thing and that is in internet marketing I believe that obsession is a very good thing. If you choose the right thing to obsess about. Unfortunately far too many mar internet marketers obsess about one about three things. The first one is they obsess about their traffic. The second one they obsess about uh, their AdSense revenues if that's uh, their particular strategy. And the third thing is they focus on their prop profits. Now I believe that all three of these are very important to, pr to focus on. But there's an even better one and that is if you're going to obsess on anything, obsess on your analytics. Because as you do so, you begin to get facts to guide your decisions. It tells you how you're doing as you're trying to make improvements and it also reveals holes in your operations like the ones that we saw before. I strongly suggest that if you are not using analytics tools, go and put them on. If you can't afford them yet, go get Google Analytics because it's free. Put it on your sites, start tracking, and start obsessing on your analytics because only by doing that will you have the huge profit increases that you're really sitting around and dreaming about all the time. This is Don Crowther for Stompernet. Best of luck to you.